Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame and score. Although Irish fans wondered about the experience level of a team featuring 10 first-time starters, Coach Lou Holtz had no intention of compromising the goals of his third Notre Dame team. We want to be the best team in the country, and that's going to be the standard, and we're going to work to achieve that. And don't expect, well, because we got some problems, that we shouldn't be expected to win. If replacing Heisman Trophy winner Tim Brown Mark Holtz's most visible challenge, then sophomore Ricky Waters wasted little time filling the bill. Back to the 19, cut to the left, get to the 20, 25. He got the 30, 35, to the 40, needs a block. That's the 50, he's gonna go all the way. To the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Notre Dame, 81 yards. Much of Notre Dame's early success in 1988 would depend on the progress of a defensive unit that impressively blended a nucleus of veterans with three new starters on the defensive line. Led by junior linebacker Michael Stonebreaker and his 16 tackles, the Irish stymied Michigan's heralded ground game in the early going. Coming into the season, Notre Dame's rushing attack had been rated tops in the country by the Sporting News. With five new offensive line starters paving the way, sophomore Tony Brooks and junior Anthony Johnson helped the Irish rush for 141 yards of their own in the first half. Yet another newcomer, first-year place kicker Reggie Ho, had an immediate impact by kicking a pair of first-half field goals. Notre Dame's early 13-0 advantage gave Lou Holtz little chance to relax as the eventual Big Ten and Rose Bowl champions poised for their inevitable comeback. Beginning with a one-yard plunge by Leroy Horde and finishing with a 49-yard field goal, Michigan staked its claim to a one-point lead with just over five minutes left in the game. Junior quarterback Tony Rice quickly moved the Irish downfield, first on a 21-yard first down scamper. Next on an 18-yard throw to sophomore tailback Tony Brooks. And finally on a Rice option play that gained four more yards. The Irish had driven 71 yards to the Michigan 9, setting the stage for heroics by Ho, as the diminutive walk-on prepared for a record-tying fourth field goal. I was aware that it was an important kick, you know, like every kick, uh, but the, the thought of it being a uh, last, last uh, minute field goal that could win the game, uh, I, I just uh, blocked that out of my mind and, and concentrated on what I had to do. With a little over a minute remaining, the capacity crowd rose to its collective feet as Ho prepared for his 26-yard attempt. Dee Graham is the holder. He'll spot the ball down at the 16. Here it comes. The ball game on the line. Spot down. Kick is up, and it is good. And the Irish take the lead on field goal number four by Reggie Ho. But Notre Dame's celebration would have to wait. Michigan marched to the Irish 32 for a last-ditch field goal try on the game's final play. The 48-yard kick, has marked far side. Here's the snap, the spot down, the kick is up in the air. It's got a chance, and it is no good. It went off to the right, and the Irish dodged the bullet, and they won it by a score of 19 to 17. For the second straight year, a victory over the always tough Wolverines proved to be a confidence-building debut for the 13th-ranked Irish. Oh!